What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another very informative video. How y'all doing out there today on this Sunday? I hope y'all doing well. I'm doing good myself. It's just that we're approaching the beginning of a new week. Time to get back out there on the track. Blue Monday again. Oh well, that's just the way it goes. But uh, I can say this. It's going better for us than it is for this guy that you see before you on this screen. Okay? supposed to be a prominent youtuber you understand and uh apparently he was so prominent he let it went to his head or he just used youtube as a platform for his debaucher's sexual deviant behavior okay it says it right here youtube star gets 10 years for co coaxing underage female fans to share sexually explicit videos you see there this <laughs> Oh, man, this, this is just ridiculous. You know, uh, words can't express just how messed up it is. You know, you always get these kinds right here that's that's doing things, you know, uh, that they shouldn't be doing on these platforms. Looking like Keith Partridge and shit with that haircut, man. You know, it just don't make no, no damn sense. You know, let's get into the story. Uh, singer and former YouTube sensation Austin Jones was sentenced to 10 years in prison after pleading guilty to coaxing, coaxing underage female fans to send him sexually exploit, explicit videos of themselves. How underage was these fans? You know, that's what I like to know. Yes, underage just means underage. I mean, let's see. The sentence was handed down Friday in federal court in Chicago, according to WGN the Chicago Sun-Times, and the Chicago Tribune. Prosecutors had sought to lock up Jones, 26, for 11 years following his admission in February that he had online conversations with six underage girls on Facebook between 2016 and 2017. During those exchanges, he coerced the girls into making the videos for his benefit. Now, that was dangerous behavior, but I, some tells me that Facebook never, you know, uh, deleted his, you know, uh, well, banned him. You understand what I mean? What about that? He preyed on their youth, their vulnerabilities, and most glaring, what's that, glaring to be? Glaringry. Their adoration of him. And he did it over and over Again, prosecutors with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the North, what's that, Northern District of Illinois said in a court filing last week, reports the Tribune. He coached the girls on what to wear, what to say, how to dance, and what to do in the videos. With more than 500,000 YouTube subscribers at the time, Jones from the Chicago suburb of Bloomingdale produced videos that were viewed millions of times. He told some of the girls they would have to prove their devotion to him by a making what well, by making and sending the explicit videos and discussed with others that he could help them attract followers on Instagram, prosecutors said. Jones admitted to authorities that he attempted to course minors on Facebook into providing him with the sexually explicit videos and photographs of approximately 30 different occasions. On a different, all right. Yeah, uh, now he had it going on. He had 500,000 subscribers. Well, look what he was doing, you know? <clears throat> This is pathetic, man. This this is just this is downright pathetic. Well, this is what you get. Ten years. He just wasted himself. In prison. And look at him. Well, some tells me he gonna get all the sexually explicit <laughs> behavior that he's not gonna welcome. Some of them guys in there gonna have him doing the same shit that he Pretty much course them little girls into doing, right? Check that shit out. Mm-mm-mm. 
What a shame. A criminal complaint filed in 2017 detailed his alleged interactions with two victims in 2016 and 2017, where they were 14. Hmm. Both victims sent him multiple sexually explicit videos. Now, I'm going to say this too. They didn't have to do that. When he was trying to get them to do, you know, uh, send them videos, you know, hey, look, they did not have to do. They, they knew that shit was wrong. So they play a part in this shit too. You know, they are at the age of accountability. They could have reported him when he did that shit. <laughs> Jones initially faced two federal counts of producing child pornography upon his arrest in June 2017. But under a plea agreement, he pleaded guilty to only one count of receipt of child pornography. The conviction carried a mandatory minimum sentence of five years in prison and possible maximum of 20 years. Just one word that blue eyes. <laughs> you finna see that now. You should already see it. One worth it. In the video, which was sent through Facebook Messenger, Jones allegedly told the victims to twerk a form of dancing and expose their buttocks and repeat how old they were in the course of which they are which which they also show their genitals according to the complaint obtained by people they had any number of some little future porn stars they doing all that they should have reported him when he when, when he asked them to do that shit but no they were complacent in it they just as guilty as he is they knew better You need an intro to the video. He allegedly told one of the girls identified in court document as victim A. At the beginning, get super close and say these lines. Hey, Austin, it's name. And this butt is age years old and then make it clap for 30 seconds. Got it? <laughs> Damn. The court documents show the uh, the appear to follow this request. Well, the court documents show she appeared to follow this request. Excuse me, people. Hey, Austin, my name is victims, victim A, first name, and my butt is 14 years old. She began one video allegedly sent to Jones before she danced against a wall according to the complaint. Hmm. Hell, he could have got women that were of his age to do that shit. If this is what he wanted to do. Why are you messing with these, these kids? There's so much going on with kids now. Damn. And then you got these, these predators, you know what I'm saying? But... Can you say at the age of 14 years old with everything that's going on, all these old explicit ass uh, videos and everything, which you, you know, they see all this shit, these women twerking and all that old kind of shit. So they trying to be like them. So when a low life like this comes along and pretty much, you know, uh, give them the opportunity to do so, that's what they do. But they should know better. They do know better, but that's what they want to do. See? In August 2016, Jones and another 14-year-old girl, identified as victim B, communicated through Facebook chat for two days. The complaint alleged the pair talked about how young she was and how much she liked his music. According to the document, Jones allegedly repeatedly told her that she was so lucky to have his attention and would have to prove how much of a fan she was. After one video, he allegedly responded, In the next one, you have to prove you're my biggest fan. I know you can do it. This dude's got a pimp attitude. How amazing that would be for you to have your favorite singers spanking your a he means ass spanking your ass 
he allegedly wrote to her at one point if you're lucky maybe i like well maybe i'll let you suck my well y'all know what that is <laughs> damn mm -mm -mm. according to an alternative press article in may 2015 jones was accused of lying about his age so girls would send him videos of them twerking an online petition in 2015 made similar claims in a statement and video he released in response to the claim jones said he had asked his fans for twerking videos but nothing more is not something that i'm proud of is not something that i think is right and I should have, what I shouldn't have have done it. They all say this shit when they get caught. He said in a vi in a video, which was titled "Setting the Record Straight." Record already been straight, set straight, motherfucker. Your fake Brad Pitt looking ass is going to prison for ten years, I guess. You know what I mean. For messing with these kids and shit underage. You don't do shit like that. And I don't know if these parents need to start watching their children. You know, that's another thing. You need to start watching your children. You know, check out what they watching on, you know, Facebook and YouTube. Who they talking to. You know, time and time again, it's been situations that happens like this. You know, and these warnings go out to the parents. But yet and still, things like this are still going on. Damn shame. Well, blue eyes, that's it for you for a while. You're going to get all the little sexual twerking that you can handle. It's just that you finna be doing it for another audience yourself. They're going to be telling you the same thing you was telling them <laughs> them kids, them little girls. <laughs> They're going to be telling you to do that, you know. And you're going to do it too. That's goddamn sick though. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.